Hello, I'm Radagast of True Vision of Peace. I'm here with the ambassador with, um, well, we can't call it a weekly update anymore because it's been a few weeks. So it, this is going to be a call for awakening. And so without, I want to greet the ambassador. Hello, ambassador. Thank you for joining us and making another video. Good day, good day. And so good day, Radagast, Radagast, I hear you. Yes. Yeah, we're we're coming with a call from awakening with founders in the background of Radagast, and uh, maybe it's the old Nordic gods that's hitting the oh, Thor or whatever his name is hitting the lightning. Oh, I'm just joking, but who knows what is the situation these days? Okay. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is today a little bit part and a little bit recommendations to the listeners and especially to the people that has been following me around and people that is involved with all the groups that is under this uh, process that the family uh, that I represent has put it forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. We are standing in times where there's a lot of things happening and we're standing in a time when a lot of things are going to shift and change quite rapidly in the next coming days. Okay? And uh, for those who pay attention or do not just pay attention to what happens with the Kim Kardashians and Justin Bieber and the you know other type of people like that has you know in reality nothing to contribute to humanity or more than rubbish. Uh, but for the ones that actually cares for their families and for their loved ones, I want people to pay attention to what's going around us, what's happening around us at this point of time. We are standing in a time of transition. We're standing in a time where basically the history and the future of humanity is standing uh, in front of us. And as I was used to say is that, we used to say, that, you know, and I've been saying many times that the questions that the children will ask us is that, what did you do dad or what did you do mother? What could you do to change this? And we are standing in front of this time of times right now, even though for some people it might not be visible or not in their understanding. We have a lot of aggression on the planet racing. We have natural, strange habits that have not been like that for a very, very long time if you just open your eyes. We have people being assassinated around the world to try to do the best of humanity. Now you hear, we even have a huge lightning coming in to confirm that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is at this point of time, is go back to some very important teachings. Okay. We are today standing in a time when people are looking at uh, the future, but let's go back into the past, okay? And this past things might upset a lot of people to hear, but I need to do that because sometimes we need to look at our past to see what we can do to change our future, mm -hmm. okay? In the past, we had a lot of great prophets coming from the Creator, and they came with a message, and they came with warnings to the people, and some people took their warnings and some people didn't take their warnings. And in some cases, even some of these prophets were, you know, aggressed upon, even crucified. And, and uh, they prevail all this uh, test of time. And, uh, you know, the message still is there for the ones who care to listen. Okay. Now, in the old days, okay, I don't think when the prophets came, they came and started arguing and saying that, you know, you have to be like that, and you have to do that. You have to pray five times a day. You have to pray three times a day. If you touch that way, you're not allowed to touch anything else for the next coming three weeks. And, and you know, you're not allowed to eat that because if you eat that, then you, you, know, you go to hell and so on and so on and so on and so on. Okay? When the prophets came, they came with a message to the people. One was that to turn to the Creator and worship Him and also to set things right in society. Many people, many prophets came to liberate people from slavery. Some people came to liberate people from 
uh, financial tyranny. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them was Jesus. Probably if Jesus would come back today, he would probably be crucified by the majority Christians and put on Guantanamo for what he's trying to do, which would upset the whole infrastructure of a cabal today. Mm-hmm. Okay? And we don't listen to the messages that our prophets taught us with love, with compassion. And people talk about Islam. Oh, you know, Islam is such a bad thing, and this person is a bad thing, and, you know, Prophet, he was this, Prophet was that. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad, he, he, he liberated people. He helped people, he changed the mind of people. When he came, he didn't, you know, come and say that the first thing you have to pray five times a day, you have to do Ramadan immediately, and you have to do this, you have to do that. No, he appealed to the people's need at that time and showed compassion and basically shift and change. Today, unfortunately, not any of these so-called Muslim countries are respecting the sunnah of a tradition of a prophet anymore, mm. especially not this uh, ogres that has been called themselves ISIS and others, which is actually fulfilling prophecies and you know, making Muslims looking bad on the planet. If we want to change the world, we cannot come and change the world with religious arguments and discussions and doctrines arguments. We have to change it by setting example. We have to come, liberate the people, help them out of the financial tyranny, help them out of all other forms of slavery that is on the planet. We have problems with human trafficking. We have problems with uh, people being arrested and killed innocently. We have monks that supposedly be peaceful that are actually killing and slaughtering kill kids. Mm-hmm. Okay, and look at the Christian church. I don't think Jesus had uh, had it in mind that the pastor should be traumatizing all the children. Actually, many children have been traumatized in the, na- in the name of the church. He came with a message of peace, as well as the Prophet Muhammad came with a message of peace, as well as most other prophets came with a message of peace and to try to liberate its people at that point of time. Of the time humans took these religions and twisted them and turned them into something ugly and made religion of it. And that's the influence of the Jala, of the Antichrist. And basically at this point of time, the 666 has been here for quite a long time without people even you know, realizing many of the trumpets, maybe up to six trumpets have already been blown and no one has paid attention. Mm-hmm. But it's time for us now during this 70-year circle and the seven-year circle and this year of a jubilee to pay attention to what we need to do. We can either unite together and change humanity's course forever, or we can sit by and look at the Super Bowl and other type of, type of interesting sport events and listen to Kardashians or listening to other type of ignorant discussions by Sarah Palin as mother of the Fox News and and other type of news agencies are talking about, you know, how terrible some people is. But what about looking ourselves in the mirror and basically do the shift and change that we need to do? Now people say that, oh, you know, I'm a good guy. You're a good guy, but you're feeding the beast. Mm -hmm. If you look deeply into yourself, you're feeding the beast every single day. What can you do to change that? Of course, by changing your behavior. Okay. Now people are going to say, oh, the ambassador is always repeating himself, or maybe I need to do it because you don't pay attention. Mm-hmm. Now it's important at this point of time, people have been twisting my words, people have been lying on me, but forget about that, that's not interesting. What's important here is that what are you doing to change the world? What are you doing to protect your children in these times? What are you doing to do the shift and change that is so necessary for humanity? That's where we need to keep the focus. I know that you've been programmed for over 2,000 years to not take responsibility for your own sins and your own behaviors. You want someone else to do, die for you, be crucified. You want other people to rapture you and bring you into the thing. Meanwhile, your ignorance has brought you to basically just feeding the beast every single day and basically standing here. And not say that I'm not ignorant. I have also been here been in the darkness of ignorance for many, many years before I was awakened. And I see that right now we are worshiping money. Mm-hmm. Money is the most important thing. 
We're talking about a world one religion. We already have it. It's the worship of money in the secular state and the illusion of democracy, which we seem to value so hard. It's also called freedom and democracy, which is just an illusion. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're coming into these special times, it's time for us to wake up to what is the truth. We have people on this planet that cares for the world, that is ready to do what is necessary to take to do the shift and change. Are you guys ready to join us mm. in this battle, in this struggle? And I hope that you are. And the people will try to lead you astray in the worship of money, in the worship of uh, basically idols, in the worship of believing in fairy tales that might not come true. And you will be tempted by it, and you might fall for it. But you have to look at yourself very carefully and tell that what's the truth? What's the reality? What is the reason for this? Why are we here today? And why we are here today is because the Creator is screaming to us to wake up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everything is ready for us to do whatever we need to do on this planet if we are just ready to do what it takes to do the shift and changes in our own lives and assist the ones that wants to do the right for humanity. Okay. And I'm here, been around now for almost a year. And I've been sitting here and uh, traveling around and trying to do whatever I can to assist through this process. And things have been moving very positive forward. But at the same time, I see that people are being tempted I see that people are falling astray. I feel that people are missing the focus and people allowing their own weaknesses, their own narcissism, their own egos to basically cloud their own judgments. And it's time for us now to do what's right for everyone and work as a unity to make the shift and change that is so necessary to us to do today to set us out of this financial tyranny to give us true freedom, and the true freedom is in our mind, and allow this planet and our children, and our children's children, to flourish on this planet in a positive manner, and not anymore under this type of way, which is gonna lead to a mass extinction almost of humanity, and of animals too. Mm -hmm. And we are allowing some wicked people to do that, but what are we gonna do to put a stop for this? So it's now time for us, and I ask every single one on the planet, even the ones that have been my staunch enemies, to wake up and join the battle to set humanity free. And we will do our best on our side. So let's hope that you will do your best on your side to work together, to unify ourselves, and to set humanity free. With that in mind, I want to wish everyone the best and continue this weekend. And God bless you all. And thank you for spending the time listening to me, even though might some people say that he's repeating himself, some people say that he's this and this and this and that. So might it be, I don't care. The main important thing is that I hope that at least someone would pay attention and join us in this struggle. God bless you, everyone, and please take care. Well, thank you, Ambassador. Even I... I the, the the fact that you that people say that you repeat yourself has been something that has gone on since the very early days because you have constantly reiterated your message and i have always thought it was necessary because the ones who i would, would read comments especially you know when, when you were speaking almost exclusively through ron van dyke weekly and people say oh he's always repeating himself and i would the people who would accuse you of repeating yourself were the people who were not getting the message. And so it, so it became obvious why you needed to repeat yourself, because if you're not heard, then you need to say it again. Because people think, oh, yeah, I got that. No, you don't have it, because you heard it, but you didn't take it into your heart, and it's not going to find expression in your life. And that is what your words are for. Your words are not for the ears. Your words are for the heart. And if they don't reach the heart, then they haven't been heard. And they, and, they, and they need repeating because I feel your message is a powerful, a powerful one. It's one that is about uniting as a family and uniting as a family from one creator on one created world that we belong on. And it's our job to reclaim this world f for the way it was created for us. 
and the world that we have is not the world that was created for us. It's a false world that was built on the world that was created for us. And uh, I really, and that is the battle against, uh, against ignorance and financial tyranny is really the fail is the false world built into the real world. That's not to say that there isn't commerce. Commerce was always meant for a natural world, but it's meant to be a natural commerce. Some people have this, some people have that, you exchange it. Some people are more productive than others. So, you know, there's all kinds of dynamics, but they're natural dynamics. And it's a return to the natural world, which is the creator's world, the world that, that we are put on. I mean, in America, when the Europeans came here, any running water was drinkable. If water moved, you could drink it. And that's how the creator intended it. Water was for free. Now you have companies like Nestle that want to own the water. You have fracking companies. And even people talk about, oh, the earthquakes. It's not really, we'll survive earthquakes, but we won't survive having our groundwater that's precious to us being poisoned and undrinkable. Because we can clean our rivers and oceans, be very hard to clean under the earth. And so this is, it is really crucial that we awaken to what is going on in this planet and that we need to reclaim it and to even have an idea of the plan, we have to be able to be aware of the creator in our heart. Because you and I might be able to speak, but we're just trying to get people to listen to their hearts, really. It's not about, oh, follow us. No, follow your heart. And, and much I feel much of what you say is really to try and get people to get back into their heart. Because in your real heart, I'm not talking about emotions, I'm talking about the heart, which is wisdom, which is compassion, which isn't narcissistic which doesn't love money. That is the part that will allow us to unify together. So I, so even though people say that you repeat yourself, yes, you do, because it's just like, it's, it's like a mantra that needs to be repeated to get into there. And we will know that people are hearing it when we, when we hear the, re, the kind of the responses show that they have finally heard it, have internalized it in their heart, and they're now ready to do something good on this planet in unity with each other. It doesn't have to be with us. If you're in unity with anybody in different pockets, we're all working together, even if we're not in direct communication. And that's my, that's my uh, kind of extra onto what you had to say. And also what I want to say, what we need to cleanse is our soul. Okay. We need to cleanse our soul and we need to look at the things. No one is perfect. Everyone has committed sins in the past and not doing wrong. Okay. But we need to, cleanse our soul and start changing, okay? A lot of people has been trying to control people by religion during the centuries. And what it has created is actually more atheist than anything else, okay? Mm -hmm. People doesn't care if you go around, okay, in Burka or if you're going around in a turban and you claim to be a very religious person or you claim to be a pope or you claim to be a religious scholar and so on and so on. If you doesn't live up to what you claim to believe in, you create atheism, you create hate for religion. What I am asking people to do is that instead of claiming to be religious, claim to be humanitarian, mm -hmm. live by an example. You see people suffering, you intervene. If you see people needing food, you help them. And these times that's coming now is gonna test humanity like nothing else on the planet, mm -hmm. okay? We're giving away hands out, loans that is fictional, but that's gonna, say for a little time until the collapse even become worse. We are buying ourselves time. We are living in a system that is not able to sustain itself and will ultimately lead to our own destruction. But it's all in our mind, okay? We can shift and change our minds and we don't need to live by this system that was created by ignorant people or to created by the Antichrist or the Jal or whatever you want to call him, okay? We can live by the ways that the creator asked us to do. And I'm not going to judge people saying, okay, you don't do that, you don't do that good, you don't do that good. This type of things turn people off from what is really important. What's really important here is to unify. Yes. I'm not criticizing any form of religion because all form of religion has the same sickness inside of itself. Mm -hmm. And we need to focus on what was the teaching from the prophets. And we have to start living in a positive manner. If Jesus said in one chapter, okay, that you should turn your cheek when someone hits you in the face, 
And then you say, okay, that I don't want to listen to. I only want to listen to what he said. I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring war. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I want to put the focus on that and live after that, fine. Destroy humanity. You know, but you will all be standing in front of the creator one day and be judged for your actions. And now you have a chance to change. When I came into this picture, people stated, okay, this person is not good. This person, like, why don't you go to this person? Why are you not on the official media? I was like, it's not impressive to change, okay, someone that's already good and to become good. The impressiveness is try to change the heart of a person that is wicked. And we have to try to do ourselves everything we can do to do the shift and change that we need. During this journey, we had now this week, that's why I've not been able to talk a lot because I had a lot of people coming from different parts of the world to, to see me. And I've been in a lot of meetings and I've been very occupied in my work. But even though I'm very occupied there, we have done a lot of work and a lot of things to try to change and help humanity to come in to a safer position. But now it's time for us to wake up. We're standing in a very dedicated time between now and September. Okay, this time is a very important time for us to do what's necessary to change our fate for humanity. Mm -hmm. And don't blame it on anyone else. Don't sit there as a bystander. I want the, the leaders of the world to pay attention to this. I want the religious leaders, to, when they go into the meeting in the United Nations during September, that they will unify and change and dissolve the old covenants that was taken on the behalf of destruction of humanity and change it into a unified movement to try to save humanity. Mm -hmm. I want God to come and fill their hearts okay, with compassion, with humidity, with love. Okay? And this is my prayer that people will be awakened. Mm -hmm. And my greatest reward would be that I could step aside and spend some time with my own family knowing that this earth would be safe from all this tyrants and all the sick twisted people that claims to be here for our best which are here for their own egos you cannot run and hide in any you know caves if you believe in the bible which most of you guys claim to do which you and still you're satanist you you we should wake up to the fact okay that you cannot hide from the creator and you cannot hide from the judgment. But you can do something to change the future. And now it's the time to do so. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow. Now. Okay? And don't sit and wait for other people to be awakened. You start by be awakened yourself. Right. People has come here. I, I had a lot of love for many people trying to help them, support them. In the end, you know, some of these people, because of the character faults, okay, it's falling back into certain patterns all the time. And they're creating a lot of uh, negativity and worries in people and, and so on and so on. But the thing is this way, you have to keep the focus on what's right. You know, or people will say, oh, the ambassador is coming out to claim to be a savior. No, I'm not a savior. I'm just the poor ambassador that has been put here in place, okay? And what I mean with poor is basically I didn't ask to be this person that I am today, mm -hmm. but God called me to do it and people asked me to do it. And I'm now doing my service for humanity by telling people it's time now to awake. You have seen the, 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 the proofs, you have seen everything you need to see. You know, you see all the ignorant people, all the, the you know, sometimes they're maybe just pure evil, but at the same time, they're aggressing at humanity, not at me, at humanity. Mm -hmm. It's time now to wake up and do what's ready, what is needed for us to go into a new millennia, which is a millennia of freedom and basically without tyranny. Mm -hmm. We can do it. All of us can do it. And, uh, you know, and that's basically what is my message. And I hope that it, it reached the heart of some people. 
Well, thank you again. And one of the things I emphasize, as we mentioned, you know, how it's we're in service to the creator. When some people have, one of the things I've been mentioning lately, when people, oh, we don't see his face. He's anonymous. I say, the creator knows his face. The cre he's not anonymous to the creator. And that's who matters for you. It's not because you're not, you're not doing this for fame. You're not doing this for recognition. You're doing this from your heart. You're, you're doing, you are working for the creator and the creator knows you very well. And that's what, and I know that's what matters to you. So, um, and I try to let other people to understand that it, this is not about the cult of the ambassador. This is not about you being a superstar. This is about, this is actually the, a humble man's work, but, and they do not understand that. And that's also part of your anonymity. I mean, besides the fact that this kind of part of your structure with the family, there's also, I feel the metaphysical aspect where the fact that you are anonymous means that when your task is done, you can return to being a regular human being. God knows your face and other people don't need to. And that's my take on it. No, the main important thing is that the message is what is important and the fame comes and goes okay and it's nothing that attracts me okay i'm not here to be famous mm -hmm. but i really hope that i could don't do an impact on people that should change humanity into the place where it needs to be okay and that's basically what is my hope and i believe that humanity can do it and unfortunately maybe the world needs to be shaken a little bit before we realize it, but I hope that we can do that before any shaking needs to be done. That is my prayer also, and my fervent wish, and it is my heart's desire for humanity to wake up without having to be beaten over the head a few times. Um, it'd, be, there, it'd be a lot easier to embrace a new world without having been bruised first. And right now, we're, this world is setting up for a serious bruising if people do not wake up and shift and change. The world has unfortunately been shaking and screaming to humanity for a very long time. Where humanity is too busy working to try to feed themselves. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing here now is for all of us to wake and let this message go where I am and that many people can understand it. And that's what is important. We are not here for ourselves. We're here for all of us. Okay? Yeah. And that's basically where you know, I want this movement that we're doing coming. It's actually not only to fund projects, but actually to change the people's hearts and do what's right for humanity. That's the most important thing. Money is not important. It's just an instrument to get from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, this has been, I'm happy. I think we put, made a nice conversation here and I look forward to putting it up later on tonight. And so people can find it on my ModWiz 125 channel and then it will also go up on our True Vision of Peace. Uh, channel at some point and you'll can find it in either place. So we hope that you will Take interest in it and watch it and maybe benefit from it. So I thank you. Thank you I thank you ambassador and we will say goodbye right now Thank you <laughs>